Good morning, everybody. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, my subscribers. Wherever you are, may the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Today, our topic is at God's own time. At God's own time. And our Bible lesson is taken from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. To enjoy your work with God, and avoid feelings of frustration, you need to recognize that God has his own timetable for everything that occurs in the life of every individual. For example, when it is not time for a man to be rich, all his efforts towards prosperity will be in vain, no matter how hard he tries. But when God's time comes, regardless of any contrary circumstances, he will become rich with ease. In fact, God's timetable includes the time of birth and death of everyone. When a person is not due to die on God's timetable, nothing can kill him or her. However, when the time comes for someone to die, no medical practitioner or prayer, prayer warrior can prevent it. Hezekiah's case may sound exceptional, but then it boils down to the fact that God changed the program for him. Isaiah 38. As children of God's Most High, we need to grow in our knowledge of how God works. The book of Ecclesiastes 3 1 says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. Since there is a time for everything and purpose, wisdom demands that we seek God's face to know his will and timing so that we don't run ourselves to death pursuing shadows. Matter in today's Bible reading reflects the attitude that several believers have towards God's timing of time of things. She accused Jesus of being too slow to respond to their SOS call when her brother was sick, possibly suggesting that Jesus was not concerned about his condition. That was very characteristic of matter. She always wanted things done quickly and on time. No wonder Jesus once told her in Luke 10 41, matter, matter, thou art careful and troubled about many things. Unlike matter, people of faith must be weary of the microwave style of living. It did not help situations in time past and cannot help today. Everything God wants to do, give you, God will give it to you. God is still faithful to his promise of giving us whatever he wants us to have. Though God does not want us to have a hasty act in whatever we want in our life. May the Lord grant you the grace to wait for his perfect timing. Are you unmarried? Please wait for God to send you your perfect mate at his own time. And do not make your own choice in haste. God bless you as you wait for him. In Jesus' mighty name continue to wait upon God and he understands you more than you understand yourself. May you remain blessed in Jesus' mighty name.